She was looking for somebody new in her life, and Colin Tennant actually introduced her to Roddy Llewellyn, who was a 27-year-old, and the two of them went off to Mustique, uh, clearly had a holiday that she enjoyed massively. The problem was that they were photographed, uh, you know, her in her bikini, him in his swimming trunks, that got into the tabloids, uh, and even though Roddy Llewellyn was, I think, very good for her, nevertheless, the whole thing was projected to the public as something essentially sordid. <laughs> Compared to the bitchy, confidence-destroying Tony, Roddy was a lot of fun, a caring individual, and they had one big thing in common, their love of music. It is often said that if Margaret were not a princess, she would surely have had a career on the stage. Margaret had very broad music tastes and she loved jazz. Uh, at one party, she's supposed to have taken the microphone, asked the band to play some Cole Porter songs and started, you know, some slinky gyrations, singing some of the, the naughty Cole Porter lyrics until apparently she was barracked from the back of the room by the artist Francis Bacon and she threw the mic down and walked off. Uh, she was also big friends of the Rolling Stones and she knew the Beatles. Uh, so, so well, in fact, George Harrison apparently approached her at the party and asked if she could uh, help with a drugs bust. And apparently she said, uh, I don't think so, George, that uh, could be getting a little sticky. 